Hello YouTube! Burger King joined the long list of companies that want to lose customers for virtue signaling. And after taking on Burger King, I'm gonna comment on an article where they criticized one actor, actress's style. But that's after Burger King. So, Burger King did a video on pink tax. Let's take a look. Introducing chicken fries for a buck sixty nine and chick fries. It's the same chicken fries you love, but for way more. Cause girls like pink. Shit. Well, you're right. A lot of women do like pink shit. What? They're two thirty nine extra. Oh. Just because it comes in this cute new box. She's got eyelashes and a bow. I need mean, not enough. Pay for that. You're not. No. No. I'm not gonna pay extra. I'm sorry. This is exactly the same thing. The same price. That guy seems so smug. But anyway, even these women in Burger King's own video don't want to pay more just because it's a girly box and it's pink. So maybe it's a little bit more to this pink tax than just women paying more for the exact same product. Why are you charging me more? I ordered the same thing he did. I'll literally take them out of the box today. Do you, do you not like pink? I don't I don't even want the fries anymore. Would you pay extra for a pink box? Would you pay extra for a pink box? Don't have to get excited about it. Do I look excited? I don't get a f about the fact that the box is pink. <laughs> See, they don't care about pink box. But when you go into the drugstore and you pay $2 more for your razor blades, do you say something then? No. Mr. Smog <laughs> thought he was so clever and then the woman just says no. But on this issue about razor blades, like women shave their armpits and legs and maybe something else. And I assume that you do it in private, that you don't have your friends and family, co-workers watching you. <laughs> while you're shaving yourself. So if the pink and the blue razor blades are exactly the same and the pink one costs more and then you still buy the pink razor blade but just because they're pink, you know, maybe there's a reason that they cost more. I mean how stu stupid you have to be to buy, not to buy the blue razor, which is exactly the same, which of course they're usually not, for shaving what you do presumably in private. Well, then buy the blue products. Don't buy women's stuff. We need to be able to tell people that I'm paying more, that we're paying more for the same product. And men and women should be paying the same price. For it's stupid. Through. Okay, now this sounds better. At Burger King we believe everything should be equal. I promise to everyone who's watching this video that if Burger King ever makes a video about how women should be drafted, um, there should be 50-50 par equal parenting, we should get women to do more dangerous jobs, so workplace injuries and fatal fatalities would be 50-50 50% of the women would be paying alimony If Burger King does any of these videos I promise that I won't eat any other company's fast food other than Burger King So no McDonald's, no Hesburger which is a company here in Finland And I do eat too much junk food so, you earn some money. So that was the pink tax. And at the moment, this video has 546 likes and 13,000 dislikes. If you go to watch this video on YouTube and read some of the comments, it's funny. Someone wrote that maybe these companies are secretly trying to re-elect Donald Trump you know, in 2020. 
I think when people talk about somebody like me, talk about how politicians and these companies, Hollywood actors, athletes, they they have no idea of the real world. And you do a video like this one, and 13,000 dislikes and only 546 likes. And all these, you know, Audi did a video on wage gap, it got huge dislikes. So these companies, they just don't have any real clue about the real world, of what people actually think and like. It's almost sad, but these companies make so much money that I don't feel bad for them. And it's their own fault. So I was scrolling down this website called Ilta Sanomat a couple of days ago, and I saw that, hey, it's Chloe. And you know, every now and then we get some sort of story about Chloe Grace Moretz. Headline is 21, 41 or 61. Consider carefully, are you making yourself older with carelessly made choice of clothes? So that's the headline, roughly translated. I'm not gonna go through this article, actually I, I don't care, but what I would like to say about this is every now and then you hear usually feminists saying that uh, women, the way they dress are scrutinized more than what men wear and all kinds of things. But most of these articles, women who write these articles, because I'm looking at these clothes that Chloe is wearing and I have no problem with any of them and frankly I I don't even care. Like if I met Chloe Grace Moretz in real life I wouldn't be watching what she's wearing. So blaming men for that women have this pressure of looking good and almost like every time have to wear something new. You know, I'm not jealous of Hollywood actresses for that, that they do have that pressure of wearing something new just about every time. Like I have watched pictures of Chloe and I don't think that I have ever seen her wearing the same outfit twice, you know, in different days. You know, I have shirts that are <laughs> over 10 years old <laughs> and I'm still wearing them. Uh, so, yeah. But again, you know, they wear it for other women and women who are criticizing their outfits. Not men. And even women admit that they are wearing nice clothes for other women, like in a bar and stuff like that. It's not for men. But it, it is for men when they expect men to pay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye.